Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Gabriel from Aegon Games signing on to give you a uh, kind of a informal video as it would be. The video being why I bought a PlayStation 3. If it's not apparent right now that I am a PlayStation 3 owner, I don't know what would have given it away. You know, maybe the fact that I own like. A, a, a decently reputable sized inventory of games um you know the fact that I own a PlayStation 3 that that might uh that might give it away to the the real smart kids you know but yeah why did why did I buy one? why not buy an Xbox or a Wii heaven forbid let's say we, we should take this back a bit. Take this back a bit. Back down to a few years ago. I'd say maybe junior year, maybe. Yeah, junior year. You know, I was digging the PS2 still, digging the games, digging what I got. Having fun with, like, Kingdom Hearts. You know, all that Final Fantasy, Dynasty Warriors, man. That was where it was that battle, Star Wars battle. You know, Gauntlet. All that good stuff and the GameCube and all that. Had I, we had the Xbox for a little while. Didn't really have a lot of good games. We had we had Halo 2, so there was some fun. There was, there was some fun. There. But my main enjoyment was on the PlayStation 2. And you know, I'm playing it, you know. And I, you know, I, I think it was when I got uh, Marvel vs. Not Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. And I was playing it. I'm like, you know, and I knew that it was on the PS3 and the Xbox 360 also. And, you know, and I'm playing this, and I'm like, you know, I'm digging it at first. Like at first, I'm digging it. You know, it's fun, but like, I see these cutscenes, and they just, the the really nice ones, and it's just like, I don't know. It was like, I playing it, and it just did not look good. It looked like they downgraded the graphics. And I was like, I felt like they were downgrading what I, you know, the experience that I was getting. And I felt like the graphics, granted, Marvel Ultimate Alliance graphics were not, you know, going to win any awards you know, on the PS3 platform. But even that even being said, you could really, like, realize, you really saw that you were getting kind of shorthanded on these games that were also on the PS3 and the PS2. So, and you know, it was like, huh, man, you know, for the same amount of money, you know, maybe that 10, 10, 20 more dollars, I could have gotten something with a lot better graphics, cooler stuff. I don't know, it just sort of felt like I was getting the, the real game and not some like just money making scheme to, for the people who still have the PlayStation 2. And I think it really got to me when I was playing Dynasty Warriors 6 for the PS2. I think that was like one of the things that I was just like, I ain't doing this anymore. Because, like, the game would just... It was just so downplayed. Like, there was just so much stuff that was just, like... You really felt that they were just... KOE was just kind of, like, letting the PlayStation 2 die. Like, they were just not wanting to do any more stuff with it. Like, you could... Like, the game, like... Just lag. I'm like, this isn't even online. This is just by itself, you know, offline. And it just... Wow, and it and they didn't even have this amount of enemies, like frequency of enemies, and like the smoothness of the enemies that it has on the PS3 version. So it was like, even with the lesser amount of enemies, which was still kind of BS because it didn't feel like how they were wanting it on the PS3, you know. So it's kind of like, man, the graphics suck, you know. And I was just kind of like, ah, I can't enjoy this. That was uh, I think it was like when I started realizing that these games were starting to be you know unenjoyable in comparison to what they probably could have been on the PS3 because it was one thing when the game was the main platform was on the PS2 and it felt like they were really going towards that and you really didn't have that sort of lag that you had you know or that feeling of like downgradement that's a word so it was really kind of like ah uh, kind of kind of bummed me out kind of you know so I was just kind of like, hmm, I got, I got, you know, I got to get another 
And uh, I think it's time, you know. I think I should. You know. And I, I mean, and then I was thinking, like, what, what, what should I get? You know, the Xbox 360 or the PS3? Because the Xbox 360, like, all my friends have one. And then, like, yeah, I can play Call of Duty, you know, because it's really fun playing Call of Duty because I've played Call of Duty at my friend's house with the 360, and it's really fun. And I haven't really played anybody else's PS3 anywhere else other than, like, at the stores. And it was like, I don't know. You know, for a time... I think I was gonna do Xbox 360 because it was like I don't know. I think it was just like yeah, I'll get a Halo and Halo 3, and Call of Duty and Left 4 Dead and all this cool stuff because it was some cool games. And I was like yeah, we'll get it and have fun. But then like I don't know. I guess I did some research and this stuff. You know, PS3, you know, it's got the Blu-ray. It has. It has the control that I've used for the PS1, PS2, generally speaking. They have made changes and stuff, and, you know, it's better and everything. But it's like, you know, I have that feel, you know. I play, I've been with it for two generations. Xbox, I really didn't feel like I was with the family more so. I really didn't feel like I was, you know, an Xbox person. I had, we played it, we had it once, but I really didn't have the first one. I wasn't like a committed Xbox person gamer so I was kind of like I just feel like it's um, maybe it's not my right place it didn't feel right it felt more right to go with play Sony you know so maybe that was what I felt maybe more connected to it perhaps perhaps that was the reason you know at, time, at one time I was like maybe I'll get the Wii you know Super Smash Bros Brawl you know uh, Mario games are cheaper the consoles cheaper then I realized that that would be fun for about a month, and I realized actually, you know, that, you know, you can't, online sucks horribly, you know, not any, really any of my friends, you know, my committed gamer friends really even play that, so it's like, oh, even worse, now granted, I don't have a lot of actual friends from, like, human, like, people that I actually know as, for, you know, uh, people on the PS3, but it's like, Regardless, you know, it's still fun. There's still lots of good games, exclusive games that I really enjoy and really happy that I got the PS3 for that. But, you know, like like I was saying, like, we just, I don't know, it was just one of those things, like, observing the other opportunities and seeing how, where that, where would that would take me, perhaps, and it did not, it took, it would have taken me down a bad road because, you know, as fate would have it, we got a Wii, my family got a Wii, you know, as every family in America has, my family eventually got one like this year, maybe this year. No, it was last year, I think. It was the year before. I don't know. You know, the thing with the Wii is like you play it for like a month, hardcore. It feels like you're all excited, and then you like stop playing it, and it just boom, nothing, because you realize that like I don't know. Maybe it's because the people who get it aren't gamers, so they get it, and they realize that in order to be a, when you're a gamer, you get lots of games, and they don't want to do that. They just are like. I'll play it every now and then because I'm not a gamer. But if you're a gamer, you're gonna get the PS3, or the P, or the Xbox 360. So it's like contradictory to what it is. I don't know, but they do, apparently do good enough, you know, business-wise. So I mean, who am I to say? But that's a whole nother story. But I have to say that, like, yeah, I feel like I've made a good choice with the PS3 altogether. I mean, I've got two controllers, a headset thing that I never use, but that's just because it's Game Shark. I think that's I think, yeah, Game Shark. That's that's mad. No, it's Mad Cast. Mad Cast. What are Game Sharks? The game. I think that's the cheat code place or whatever thing. Are you cheat? But yeah, I got the Mad Cats headset. That's this Mad Cats just sucks in general. That's not the downplay PS3 headsets. If I I should have just gotten the uh, Sony one, but my my parents got me. My mom got it for me for Christmas, so it's like, uh, I'm not going to complain, but that's what I wanted, but I'm not going to complain. Well, it kind of was, but regardless, you know, I got two controllers, they they still run great, they still get loads of battery time, they're, they're nice, I don't really see what people's like, oh, I just, uh, I don't like, I, I like both of them for different reasons, and I just, I don't know, I can play, it's not going to be like, oh man, playing Call of Duty is so worse than on you know, in comparison to the Xbox, it's like, 
yeah, granted, the Xbox has those cool trigger things, but those kind of, like, and other than shooter game, kind of gets a bit, I don't know, seems kinda, still seems kind of bulky in comparison. It just, I like the PS2 controller. You're used to it. That's what I like about it. And, like, I don't know, I want to do something different. Sometimes it's just, like, everybody's doing it, and it's like, oh, wow, you know. Not to mention, it would also, fate would have it, that me, I would room with a friend who has an Xbox 360. So it would have been stupid. We both have Xbox 360s. I mean, that's, that's just stupid. I maximize my profit by now having the best of both worlds, excluding the Wii, which really we probably wouldn't even play because all we're playing right now is on the Xbox. But then sometimes we'll play on the PS3. Like, it depends. I don't know. You know, it helps that I, I mean, the fact that I'm, my friend, he bought me online subscription so I'm playing a lot of on my my online like mostly Call of Duty because I'm not gonna buy two Call of Duties that's just pointless so I might as well just play that and so it's like that's the main one that I really play because all the other ones I'm really not feeling so it's kinda like I might as well play all my online on there so it's kinda like you know granted there's a lot of good story stuff but it's kinda like with the way games are now it seems almost kinda like not as much fun to go back and play story modes because they seem so they don't seem to put up as much effort as they did back in the day maybe it's because we were spoiled with online play and just all this other stuff but regardless I have just rambled and dabbled for an extraneous long time so without further ado this is Aegon Games Gabriel from Aegon Games 69 sign off